Hello and welcome to our video where we explain how you can apply for access to EuroHPC JU supercomputers. Starting from the basics, let's say that you and your team and your company or institution have a project where you need more computing power than usual. A complicated simulation with multiple parameters, or a data analysis, or a machine learning algorithm with millions of data points, and so on. If you're based in a European country, or a country that's associated with Horizon 2020 program, then you can take advantage of the European supercomputing infrastructure, and the best part is that it is for free. More information on the affiliated countries on the description below. You can apply for access through the open calls that are available on praisecalls.eu. In order to do that, you need to have an account, so let's get started and register to the portal. You just type your name, your email, and pick a password. And that's it. You will receive an email to verify your given email account and you're good to go. After that, you just log in with your email and password and now you're free to choose the call that works best for you. Initially, you will see all the available calls and a top menu with your dashboard and account information. The dashboard has all your saved applications and at the moment it's empty because we just signed up. Picking the appropriate call for your particular needs can be tricky, but don't worry because we are here to help. The EuroCC project has set up a competence center on each European country to guide you through the process. Visit eurocc-access.eu and find your local competence center. We can guide you before, during and after you have gotten allocation to a supercomputer. For our example, let's pick the development access call. All calls come with a little bit of information at the bottom and an apply button to start applying. So let's start applying. The first thing you will see is that the application is divided into parts. You have the project details on top, followed by information on people, the team, and the technical details on your code and project. Let's start filling the application. I'll just write simulation test as a title, and then I'll pick up the research field title which applies for my imaginary project. Let's pick condensed matter physics. Then we have to choose a research field subtitle. Let's pick particle physics. You have a choice to add multiple research fields on your application. In that case, you will have to specify the percentage for each research field, which adds up to 100. Next, you write certain keywords that characterize your project and verify that the project will be for civilian purposes, meaning not military. Afterwards, you summarize your project by writing the abstract you choose, the duration of your allocation, start date, and whether or not there is industrial or public sector involvement. In the end of this part, you will have to disclose whether or not any part of the project is covered by confidentiality, and you will have to specify what kind. Moving on the next part of the application, we have the principal investigator personal information. In my case, I'll fill my own details. It's pretty straightforward with questions like date of birth, employment, and contact details. Next, you fill the contact person details. It can be a different person than the principal investigator, but to save some time, I'll just put my own information again, save, and move to the team member's information. This part is also important because you will need to specify who is going to have access to the allocation that you're applying for. Let's add one person to our team. Then save again and move to partitions. In this part, you specify the supercomputer of your choice. Depending on your projects and workflows, different systems may be of use to you. We can of course also help with this choice. Let's choose Vega GPU partition, which is based in Slovenia. Then we have to type the code that we will be using or developing in this case. You can add multiple codes in this field as well. The requested amount in core hours is already pre-filled. This amount is different for different partitions. Let's type an average amount of cores that we will be using for our project. The average job memory in gigabytes and the total amount of data that we will be transferring to and from the supercomputer. Next, we are filling some more details on input and output for our project as well, such as storage needed, maximum amount of memory per core, and in case you have I.O. data traffic information or specific I.O. files. If you need it, you can add another partition, for example CPU, but in this case we will just use one. Let's save and move to the last part. In the development part, we will add certain technical details of our project. First, we are filling some general information, and then the current and target performance we are aiming for. Let's say that we want to develop a GPU-ready version of our code. Then the impact of our code optimization, we can for example mention the worldwide user base and that GPU acceleration will have a strong effect on European research. Next question is about algorithms used. Here we can add details on how your code works and next you will describe the solutions you have considered to improve performance, the work that needs to be done in order to achieve that, and finally the limitation that you wish to solve with this project and click Save. Finally, you have to agree to the EuroHPCJU terms, which you can read in detail here. 
and you can either save the application to submit on a later date or submit the application. In case you choose to save the application, you can access it on your dashboard and come back to make changes if needed. To conclude our video, as stated before, the URCC project is here to help with any questions you may have. We will guide and advise you on every step of your application.